AI is absolutely everywhere. Everyone speaking about it. But the main question is, what is really important for AI at enterprise scale? And here at KubeCon with me, I have the project manager of SUSE AI, yep. Alessandro. And I'm just gonna ask you, what is it that our customers are most concerned about or that they yep. most trigger when it comes down to AI? Well, there's a, at least a couple of things. So the first one is, we start every conversation saying that we are really open, we are flexible, and we are not offering any vendor locking, and they don't trust us. That's, that's always the same story. They come to us, we say, no vendor locking here, and they look at us like, mm, not gonna trust you. And then we show them the high library, and we show them we use upstream project, it can replace any time with all the version, but with the security in place that demonstrate basically the capability of the application collection to score the vulnerability, and show them actually that that component has that particular CVEs or not. And then we have a joke. I was telling you about this joke. So basically we t tell people, let's take one famous component like Kafka, Apache Kafka, and we ask people, do you run this in production? And the majority of them say yes. And do you think it's secure? And they say yes, of course. Then we show the current vulnerability score on the latest version. Guess what? There are four CVEs. Yes. And we say, well, now you know it. Now you know what you're running in production. This is the first really wow moment they have. And then from there, we basically explain how we build the platform, how so we build the network. Before we go there, what yeah. I would like to understand is why is the openness for people something eye-opening? I would assume that, of course, it's open. Why, so why is that different than what they expect? Well, the, the three keys that People are accustomed to the fact, until now in the AI space, vendors come to them and say, here's how you do AI. There's no way actually to basically do it in a different way. When they come to us, basically we are telling them, look, here's how you do AI, but it's still open, so you can literally build your own platform. And this is really a hard moment for them. It's really about, okay, now I can really drive that project the way I envision it, the way I want to manage it. And this is really down to being in fracture to vendor versus just be yet another AI vendor. Is that, is that also due to the fact that the market is maturing? So up until now, we've always been kind of consuming almost consumer-based products. Yeah. And now all companies, they really, enterprise, they really want to do yeah. it for real, for yeah. themselves in their own controlled environment. So all of a sudden they realize, hey, but I need to build my stack. What is actually in there? Yeah, I, I think that you're absolutely right. That I think that the, the, on one side, the market start to mature. And while it mature, they basically recognize that AI is just yet another workload in the Kubernetes space. It's just another workload you have to manage, another workload that you will have there. And because of that, they start to look into it and say, well, I also have been mature enough that I want to pick up my preferred components, yeah. my preferred stack, yeah. and then I want to have a partner that yeah. is using the case that allow me to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And then, hey, obviously, SUSE provides kind of an end-to-end -end stack. Yep. So then I'm imagining, hey, you've been demoing this for the full three days. So what is it then that people start smiling or that they finally have that aha moment? So this is why a stack is important. That's, that's super easy, and it's also observability stack. So I said, we start the conversation, they don't really trust us. Then they start to see the library and they start to think like, okay, maybe those guys know what they're doing. And then we basically teach the start about the security because we tell them, look, you build your platform, now you secure it to the SUSE security, that is great. And then all of a sudden we change gears and say, how about knowing what's actually is happening? And when we say what is happening, it means let's deep dive into the AI models, into your LLM architecture, and show the details of that. This is SUSE observability. And this is really a haha moment. They literally look at that and say, wait a minute, you're telling me that I can literally look at the entire topology and understand that. There was one of our customers today that was telling me literally like, oh, I really love the fact that it's super visual, the direction it's taking, the fact that I can literally jump from the hardware on the GPU consumption up to the models down to the services and then basically connect all the dots interesting yeah definitely. well but probably also I would argue hindsight obvious right because up until now 
AI is a kind of a black box. Yeah. We talked about it in the first part, right? You consume it as a package. Now you need to manage it and you finally start to understand all the components. But then the fact yeah, that, that we visualize that with SUSE observability in that entire dependency tree, dependency map, I can understand that people finally start to see the inner workings of an AI no, you're solution. you're absolutely right. And especially because, the, again, back to your comment about the market started to mature. So in the last six, eight months, we started to observe many, many new components like the agent workflows and the guardways that actually allow you to control the outcome of an yep. LLM. That means your infrastructure becomes more and more complex. More components interacting yeah. together. And still, you already be in a position where basically we show them is like, we don't really care about how many components you're going to have. Yeah. They will show up in the observability, you will be able to control them. And that's basically like, make it simple, a complex thing. Yeah. Excellent. I hope this really provided some insights on what we're doing here with SUSE AI. If you're curious how it actually works, check out the link in the comments below because you will read all the details on this amazing solution. Thanks for watching. See you next time.